A professional cleanup crew scours the Dallas apartment where the first U.S. Ebola patient stayed. Now in hospital isolation, Thomas Eric Duncan was visiting a woman at this complex when he became sick. Duncan traveled from Liberia into the country almost two weeks ago. It was in this Liberian neighborhood where Duncan had contact with people infected with the Ebola virus. But the Liberian government says he didn't disclose that information before leaving for the U.S. Crews on Friday removed several items for disposal from the apartment and the hospital where Duncan is being treated. Time is a bit, you know, we're going to be taking a mattress out, but it's going to be, you know, cut up and put into overpack rooms. The woman Duncan was staying with, Louise Tro, and three others inside the apartment remain under state-ordered quarantine. At a nearby complex, Tro's daughter, husband, and three grandchildren were also told to stay indoors. So when I went there, I'm a nurse assistant. When I went there, what I decided to do is take his blood his temperature and his blood pressure. So when I take it, it was not right. Family I members cracked open the door, saying they're confused and have not heard from the county health officials in several days. They say they saw Duncan before he went to the hospital. When I met him, he was in the room. So I stood by the door. I said, hi, so how are you doing? He said, oh, I'm not feeling OK. I'm having some diarrhea and I'm kind of a weak. The children, among those the Dallas Independent School District, told to stay at home for the next three weeks. And North Carolina Duncan's nephew says he called the Centers for Disease Control when he learned of his uncle's symptoms. I was terrified, scared, worried, and that's why I took those actions. Next week, school nurses will use eye scanners to check temperatures of students at the five Dallas schools where children who had contact with Duncan attend. Uh, it's uh, essentially a high-tech thermometer. It's touchless. So no one is touching a patient who might be sick and then being able to spread uh, those germs. Meantime, Duncan remains in serious but stable condition. John Moan, Associated Press, Dallas.